Hi, this is Dr. Manjanath, fertility expert and laparoscopic surgeon. In this video, I'm going to tell you about PGS and PGD. PGS, are, PGS full form is pre-implantation genetic screening and the PGD full form is pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. What is this? This is a new advanced technique in finding out among all the embryos which you produce in IVF cycle which is the best embryo or which is the normal chromosomal embryos so this is basically a genetic procedure or a test which checks the embryo for abnormal chromosomes and selects only the normal embryos which can which we can transfer during during the IVF cycle so this is the definition or method uh, in which we do the genetic screening of the embryo or genetic diagnosis and select only the best quality embryo and transfer. So you, you know that once the, in IVF or ICSI procedure we combine or we fertilize the egg and the sperm in the lab which will develop first into two cell then into four cell and then, then into day three and we grow those day three two or three days more and make them blastocyst. That's a day five embryo. And this day five embryo we do a biopsy, embryo biopsy and take out few cells. You know that blastocyst embryo has plenty of cells. Out of that, if you take two or three cells or maximum five to six cells, it won't harm the blastocyst. So that you need to keep in your mind. And we make it with using the laser, we make a small hole on the cell of this shell of this embryo and suck out few cells say around 5 to 6 cells and do a genetic testing on that and interpret suppose if we are taking the biopsy from this embryo we interpret after doing a genetic testing if it is normal we interpret this this particular embryo is normal so like that if you have some 5 embryos we can do the genetic testing on all the 5 embryos and tell among these 5 embryos which is the best embryo which is the embryo which has full chromosomes, full normal chromosomes and we select that particular embryo and do the embryo transfer. If, if you do like that, even the chances are good plus you will have a healthy baby. That's what entire procedure of PG, PGS is going to help us. So who and all requires? Can we do this PGS procedure for each and everybody or particular group requires this PGS? We can't do this PGS procedure for each and everybody. Only those patients like women older than 35 who have high risk of having abnormal baby, repeated IVF failures, or the, uh, some couple will have congenital abnormalities, abnormalities or some kind of genetic abnormalities running in their families or repeated pregnancy loss. You might have heard uh, there may be pregnancy losses of 3, 4 so and those kind of patients requires this PGS or PGD and if you do the PGS and PGD in those kind of patients they will have more success rate and a healthy normal genetically normal baby. What are the disadvantage of that? Of course, it's high cost and something called as mosaicism. Mosaicism means even though we are diagnosing some embryos as abnormal embryos, sometimes those embryo, abnormal embryos may be normal. Going further, if you develop further, maybe those can be a normal embryos. So uh, to the tumor, tune up 20% of the embryos we may be wasting, saying that as an abnormal embryo. In fact, they may be a normal embryo. And the accuracy is 99%, still 1%, we may be fail, fail or we may not be accurate 1%, but only the accuracy is 99%. So this is all about the PGS or a PGD, one more advanced technique in our armamentarium of IVF treatment and which the infertile couple or a needy infertile couple can take the advantage of this. So keep watching my videos. Thanks for joining me.